My name is Llewellyn Powell. I don't think I had something where I was like, yep, this is my calling and what I'm going to do. I think I wanted to be a spy or something like that. Nothing that I, uh, that I had really thought out at all. I just like sort of figuring out how things work together. I had bought myself a motorcycle, and the motorcycle was sort of questionable. So I was like, I like learning how to do things. You know, it'd be really cool if I could, if I could fix this thing up and get it running. An alternator. Yeah. <laughs> I am 34 years old, and I go to school at the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. Well, I bounced around a little bit when I was younger. I was born in Richmond, Virginia. Lived in North Carolina for a little bit. Lived in Charlottesville, Baltimore, Colorado for a little bit. Lived in uh, California for a couple of years. And then I moved to Boston. My first attempt at college didn't go terribly well. I didn't really know what I wanted to do and worked random jobs. You know, I was kind of like, this is not the most rewarding thing in the world. I had the chance to go back to school, so I was like, eh, you know, it would actually be really cool to, to understand how cars work. I went to Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. A lot of students come in in the same situation as Lou, pretty much ground zero. The curriculum that I'm in focuses on uh, hybrid and alternative fuels technology. What are you going to feel for? Clearance, rock, rotation, all that stuff. Right. If you want to know about how to fix cars, you're going to have to know hybrid cars, alternative fuels. There has been a paradigm shift. If you don't know how to do this stuff, you're not going to be employable in any real sense as a mechanic. The traditional framework is around standard combustion engines, you know, like American muscle cars. And the hybrid thing is going to change all that. With the automotive industry changing significantly, you guys in the alternative fuels industry will probably increase your income significantly. If you're planning for the future and planning for your career, you know, you got to be smart and think. You know, hybrids is where it's going. This is new and this is interesting stuff. So to be sort of really engaged in it is pretty cool. We've gotten a grant from the National Science Foundation, which helped us build the garage and the, and the lab. What is ATE? ATE stands for Advanced Technological Education. NSF filters down money to ATE, which finds projects to fund for students to be able to learn technical education. We got equipment, we've got hybrid vehicles, we got a multi-fuel engine, so you can see the actual flame as the engine runs. We get access to all this cool stuff that we didn't have before. The government is trying to get people trained in working on cars, and not just cars, but other things. We have solar, we have wind, we have hydropower. All this stuff is going to be coming up, up, up. Oh, so. That's true. Once there was power applied to it, if it was in the car, then you would know if the alternator was going to function. I actually really like doing this, and I'm good at learning it. I went to a college before I came here and I was doing awful, and ever since I came with Benjamin Franklin, started doing what I love. I've been on Dean's List every semester, getting good grades, so and I'm really happy and grateful. <laughs> I took apart a hybrid transmission today. You asked me that six months ago, I would have been terrified of it. But I feel skilled. I feel like I have knowledge and experience for the rest of my life. Any place I am, you can use this stuff. It's, it's worthwhile stuff. Something doesn't work, do some work on it, and then the thing that didn't work does work. That's a concrete satisfaction that you don't get from a lot of things. There's a sense of accomplishment there, which is pretty awesome. <laughs>